Noah says the Torah was a righteous man. The problem was there weren't very many righteous people in the world. As a matter of fact, everyone was treating each other really, really horribly. They weren't listening to each other and they were beating on each other and stealing and robbing each other and just generally treating each other like many words that we will not use right now. But Noah wasn't. Noah was actually like a good guy. The Bible says Noah ish tzaddik. Noah was a good guy. So God told Noah, build an ark and I'll get you out of here. Noah built this ark and it was big. It was big. It was as big as God told him to be big. It was big enough to hold every animal on earth times about seven, but we'll get there. And then it started to rain and it didn't stop raining. And although God was like, I'll get you out of here, what actually happened was God got everyone else out of there and only Noah and his family were saved. Noah took his wife and he took his three sons and he took their wives and they all went on the ark. Then he brought along all of the animals, right? Seven couples of each kind of kosher animal and two couples of each kind of non-kosher animal. You know, the kosher animals were cows and chickens and giraffes and the non-kosher ones were like lizards and emus and Amazonian tree frogs, which is why there are so many more cows in the world than, you know, emus. And they all stayed on the ark and they stayed on there for 40 days and 40 nights. So after 40 days and 40 nights, Noah saw that the waters had started to go down and that the world was no longer covered in one vast tidal wave of an ocean. And so he sent out the birds. First he sent out a raven and the raven flew away because, you know, the trees were out from the water before the land was out of the water. So the birds could fly around because the air wasn't filled with water anymore. And then the trees weren't filled with water. And then Noah sent out the dove. The raven just went out and didn't come back, but then the dove flew out and came back with an olive branch to show Noah and his family that, that it was safe to come out, that the waters had receded. So then they all got off the ark and probably never wanted to see that thing again, and they started life anew. So when we say Noah was a righteous man and that everyone else in the world was evil, who are we comparing him to? The fact is, he's the only person who the Torah straight up calls a righteous man. But is the Torah telling us that in his defense? There are two kinds of righteous people, those who do exactly what they're supposed to do and nothing else, and the ones who look around and try to do more. The raven was like Noah, he went straight away. But the dove thought of everyone else stuck on that ark and decided to help them out. In other words, there's the kind of guy who, when you tell him the world is going to flood, runs out and tells his neighbors and helps them out. And then there's the kind of guy who doesn't tell anyone and starts building an ark.